Today we're going to write the slope intercept form given the slope and the y intercept. First let's review what the slope intercept form really is. So it's y equals mx plus b where this is the slope and this is your y intercept. If I tell you that the slope equals 2 and the y intercept equals 7, I know that y equals mx plus b. I'm going to substitute my 2 in for my m and my 7 in for my b. Now that is a plus 7 because that is a positive 7. Then I'm going to bring down my y equals and my x. So given a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 7, I can now write y equals 2x plus 7. If I tell you that the slope equals negative 4 and the y-intercept equals 9, then I know that y equals mx plus b. I'm going to substitute the negative 4 in for my m. And that's a plus 9, so I'm going to substitu substitute that in for my b. Now I'm going to bring down my y equals and my x. So therefore, if I, gave, told, if I told you that the slope equals negative 4, and the y-intercept equals 9, then I can say that y equals negative 4x plus 9 in slope-intercept form. Last one, if I tell you that m equals 1 and the y-intercept equals negative five, then I know that y equals mx plus b. I can substitute one in for my m and negative five in for my b. Now since this is a negative five, I'm not, I'm going to write minus five here. Instead of writing plus five, I'm going to write minus five because that is a negative five. Then I'll bring down my y equals and bring down my x. Now, if I wanted to, I can simplify this even more. I know that if my, if my um, coefficient here is 1, I can just write, I can either write it this way or I can just say y equals x minus 5. Here's 2 for you to work. I'd like for you to take this information and write it in slope-intercept form and do the same with this information. Please place the video on pause while you write the slope-intercept form. Okay, I know that y equals mx plus b, so I can substitute my negative 3 in for my m and my positive 10 and for my b, and I can bring down my y equals and my x. So therefore, y equals negative 3x plus 10, which is my slope-intercept form. Okay, given that my slope is negative 1 and my y-intercept is negative 3, I can write y equals mx plus b, and I can substitute my negative 1 in for my m, and my minus 3 in for my b. I can bring down my y equals and my x. So my, it's going to be y equals negative x, negative 1x minus 3, or 
since my coefficient here is negative 1, I can write y equals negative x minus 3. All right, that's it for today. Please visit me on mathwithmoon.org for future videos, and please leave your comments and suggestions. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.